Hey guys, new one here. Welcome to episode 20 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Alright, before you guys say anything, I know there's an item right behind my character, I just don't care for it. Anyway, then, so in this episode, we're going to be doing stuff. Eh. Uh, get into the next time is what we're going to do. I'm just being weird as usual. Okay, then, so yes, I don't plan on doing too much in this episode because it's almost Christmas. Kind of. I'm kind of happy. Okay, I'm very happy. Okay, I'm back and straight into another battle. So, yep. Me, Pokemon, and my Parasol. If any one of them is missing, the picture of you is ruined. Okay, then. R weird. Another Pokemon battle down, another one to go. So, yeah. Yep, so I think this might be the second from last one to do in this little area. Uh, this guy's a ninja. Eh. Bug type Pokemon, poison type Pokemon. Okay, he's done, and a lone Pokeball is there. And it ha holds a revive, which is cool, I guess. Uh, revive's always useful. Especially when my video is lagging. Hmm. Alright, anyway, then, I think it's passing to my low tech. Let's see if I'm right. Irony much? Yes, yeah, that person has saved low, which was weird, actually. But anyway, yes. Now that we've done that, we can continue. And you can find a few Kecleons around here too, which is annoying because I like Kecleons, so I'm not going to catch one. Um, yes, this is still lagging, but another train of battle, so yeah. Uh, battle time. Okay then, uh, pick up this item, it's a nugget, but I don't have enough room, so I'll be right back to get some more room then, I guess. Okay, I gave the quick lore to Sableye, and now I can be on my way. Uh, actually, I'm just going to test some settings on my VBA, because I want to see if it can record better. One, one VBA, uh, Cam Studio. Anyway, be right back. Yeah. Okay, I can't do it while I'm recording, which is annoying again. But oh well. Uh, you go this way, you can go into a little cave that gives you sunny day, I believe. I don't want it. If I want it, I'll come back for it. And here's a Hyper Potion, which is a good item. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's see what Pokemon this is. Mighty Anna, cool, but I don't want it. Actually, I don't want any Pokemon here, I believe. But either way. Ah, uh, skipping this. Yay for skipping areas. Okay then, so, a ninja here. Nothing special. Anyway, yeah, bow again. Okay then, so let's go up, darn it. Yes, so let's go this way like I tried doing just to... I will go here no matter what they say. Uh, there's a hiker, no, there's a ruin ma manic actually, something like that. And there's a kick on here in case you guys didn't know. And here's a part of where you can see your reflection. Stop lagging. One second. So yeah, I think it's better now. Something like that. Uh, so now we can continue and um, Manic saw us. Or Manic Maniac, something like that. I don't know, I haven't seen the name yet. Definitely Maniac. Uh, I saw the word, it's Maniac. So another case solved, I guess. And I'm really starting to wonder why I'm not using those repels I bought. Either way, now that we're done here, we can go. And hope we get to. Well, there's no doubt that we're gonna get to the next town. But yeah. Uh, why isn't it working? I'm trying to attack you. Alright then. So, yep, we're just battling this person. Okay then, so this person now. Uh, Bolt is getting some really good experience right now. And that's like, the saddest name it, nickname ever, I know that. And they look, never mind, T Mac was there. Uh, so they're going to talk about going over to Mount Pyre, and then they just pretty much go. Uh, we saw Team Aqua earlier saying about Mount Pyre and Team Magma. Yeah, that's where they're going now. Anyway, battle time again. Okay, then Bolt just learned Bite, which is good, I guess. Uh, it's another special move, because Dark-type moves are special in this game. And we don't have enough room for it, so I'm just going to walk past it. I can get it later. Uh, a load of trainers that I can battle here, but I'll battle them off screen as well. Anyway, so let's see if we can get past these trainers. No, we can't. I just walked straight into them. Uh, these are ace trainers, I believe. So, pretty good battles. 
Okay then, one more trainer before we hit the next town. And this is another ace trainer, which is a good thing to get. Again, I'm number five of uh, people to beat a pack. Okay, it's official. Now, Bolt Dominatrix is the highest level Pokemon on my team. Which isn't a good thing, actually. Uh, but, well, it's not a bad thing, so I'll let it stand. Why am I showing you this? Oh, well, I'm practically done now, so I might as well show you. Yeah, you took maybe wait long enough. Okay then, goodbye. I'm talking to a game like it's some real thing. It's funny to myself. I'm so sad. Uh, guess I'll put Tsunami up ahead. Because we're now going to battle our rival one last time. And by rival I mean May. So, yep, go up to this building and May will be here. Blocking our entrance, saying that She's just bought a load of Poke Dolls and such. And she's now saying she wants to know if uh, we've raised our Pokemon properly. Of course we have. But we have to show her. So I guess it's time for us to battle her one more time. So this time she has four Pokemon, unlike the three that I thought was four last time. Uh, so first up is Tropius. It's going to go down easily to an Ice Beam, I should imagine. And uh, yeah, nothing too hard there. It's weak to moves, well, fire moves, I think bug moves as well. Maybe rock, I'm not entirely sure about that one. But we're trying to learn Muddy Water, which is a uh, Swamp Art signature move in this generation. But it's uh, not as good as Surf, not as, go as good. Mu Wait, what? I'm getting my words jumbled up. Anyway, I have no room for it anyway, so yep, it's going. Goodbye, Muddy Water. And next is Grovile, so we can send out Sky Guy against that one. Any normal person would have called this Batman, but no, I went with Sky Guy because it was after one of my friends. So yay for being a somewhat good friend. Ah, uh, he recommended it anyway, so yeah. Uh, Slugman next, and I guess I should send Tsunami back in. Uh, not much to really talk about here. I've already told you all the weaknesses to his team, her team before. Uh, nothing I can really tell you more about this. So you're just gonna see me beat her team up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, one more Pokemon is a Pelipper, so I'm not giving that to Bulk because he's overleveled as it is. Uh, Creep is gonna get left out again because it's gonna be Sky Guy's turn. Uh, I might let Creeper have some fun somewhere else, but I don't know where right now. I don't really uh, like Sableye at the moment. Maybe it's because I'm overusing it in the Game Boy version and my emulator. Probably. Uh, so yes. It's poisoned now, which means it's going to die soon. It can't stop it, so it doesn't even try to protect, which is a good thing because it's not wasting as much as it, my time as it would be normally. So, yep, she's just saying that she remembers the battle that we had on Route 103, Route, Route, whatever you want to call it. And we're done, so, yep. Uh, now that we're here, I guess she's going to fly off. And I'll be right back. Okay, then I'm back, and seeing as I'm here, I guess I might as well give you a tour of Lily Cove City then. So, Lily Cove City is where we are right now, obviously. And this area first that we're going to tour is the Art Museum. I don't like this place, but I'm just going to show you it anyway. Uh, two ladies, not two ladies, a lady and a kid saying that there's Pokemon of. There's Pokemon, a painting of beautiful, smiley woman with a Pokemon. Eh. Uh, a grass Pokemon swaying in the breeze, whatever. I don't really care for this place, like I just told you. Uh, more pictures. A guy over there, I think if you talk to him later on or now, uh, he'll let you go up there and have your own art put there. Uh, no, I don't have an art interest in paintings. 
but if you keep on saying yes to that it will take you to another area but I don't care for it and I'm probably never going to show you that so yeah I probably won't do contests to the extreme anyway so and now this is a great place this is like the equivalent to golden rods and uh, what is the other area uh, I can't remember the one but it's in Kanto and it has Erica as a gym leader and the other stuff but it's equivalent to their supermarkets so on the first floor or second floor whichever one you want to call it it has the necessities of a trainer items which is like your potions your pokeballs and such like that uh, pokeballs potions and healing stuff so yeah uh, next floor, I think this is your battle items, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yes, these are your Pokemon drugs, because everyone knows that Pokemon are on drugs these days. Uh, and maybe these uh, something else. Wait, no, these are your Pokemon drugs, and those were your X items. Sorry, I get confused at times. Uh, next floor. Oh, I forget what's here. Uh, is it the TMs by chance? Yes, it is. It's the uh, TMs. I think this is Protect. Uh, this is Safeguard. This is Reflect. And this is uh, the other one. Uh, light Screen, that's the one. Uh, just giving you a quick tour of the place. Alright, this is Fire Blast. This is Thunderbolt. No, this is Thunder, sorry. Blizzard and Hyper Beam. I might buy some of these later. Uh, next floor then shall we and this is the secret base room which is cool because there's all sorts of cool items that you can put in your secret base look there's Pokemon dolls here uh, you can look at them in your own time but I've just shown you pretty much all of them in a quick glimpse uh, this area is your Pokemon cushions uh, and I think over here are your mats and your cool stuff like okay this is posters and I think the one beside me is mats which is pretty much the secret base thing done here so yep uh, that's done we can go higher I guess um, up here you can buy stuff like lemonades and soda pops and fresh waters and all the other drinks and uh, after you've been in the elite for uh, you can go over here and there should be Pokemon sales sometimes where you can buy other stuff for your secret bases. You have to look on the Pokemon TVs for them though. Okay then, so I'm just going to get out of this building and I'll be right back. Okay then, so now that we're out, I think it's this house that I'm looking for next. Uh, th yes it is, this guy is the move deleter. Uh, if you have taught your Pokemon any moves that uh, you don't want them to learn, which is more specifically HM moves, go to that guy and talk to him, he'll delete him for you. Uh, he's the only guy in the game who can delete HM moves so be sure to talk to him if you want to get rid of him. I uh, can't remember what this guy does. Uh, uh, he's just telling you about people like Team Aqua who use Pokemon as weapons. I wish I was a Team Aqua person. Anyway then, so go over to this house and I think this guy's going to give you a sleep talk but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yep, TM44 sleep talk. Over that, I'll rest. Uh, yep, rest. Uh, talk to this man and he'll just say something. Oh, uh, he's gonna talk about the cove that we'll, we'll get to maybe later, next episode, something like that. And there's two Aqua Grunts there, but don't worry about them. And I think if you go over to this rock over here. It's a hidden item which is a heart scale, which means you can go to that move to you're in the other town that I cannot remember the name of, and you can get some new moves. I uh, haven't picked up anything. So, stop lagging, thank you. Uh, in this building, it's where the game directors will be, I believe. Right now, it's empty with just a ghost staring at TV, but this is fun. Walk one of the team V and he'll push you out of the way. Uh, but if you talk to him normally, uh, so 
he's gonna talk about how he can improve the attractions of this area. But eh. Ah, uh, my back. Uh, here is the Pokemon contest hall. I'll get more onto that later. Uh, here's just a random house, I believe, with people talking about trades. And this is the uh, uh, Lily Cove port, that's it. Where they have. Oh, I can't be bothered to talk about it. They have a port in Slateport Town as well. But yes, so like I said, I'll talk about the contest hall next time. Along with a visit in the Safari Zone, that was the big building we passed a while ago. So yes, I think we're done here. I'm pretty sure I am. But even if we're not, I'm going now anyway. So on the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, I will be, uh, like I said, doing a contest hall and showing you around it. Along with the po Safari Zone. That's it. I'm getting jumbled up in my words now, so I'm just going to go. See you guys next time.